Hello, hello, beautiful people. Well, tonight, uh, this is day 22 of lockdown here in New Zealand. Um, tonight, I'm going to do a reading. So I've got my cards out. I can briefly show you on the table. There, so I've got quite a few cards out. And I'm going to talk about how I feel about the situation we're in uh, uh, to begin with. Uh, and then I'm going to read what I pick up in the cards that have come out. Um, my personal feeling, especially here in New Zealand, is that we're going to go on and, and stay a bit longer in lockdown. Uh, it might change slightly, so it might go to level three, but I believe that we will stay a bit longer just to make sure that, um, that depends on which way you look at it. Is it, is it a, a form of control of the people or is it actually totally about the virus? So, um, my feeling is that we will go on a bit longer. Now, I do also want to say that there is a lot more that seems to be going on behind the scenes. Now, when I look beyond the physical and I look with my higher consciousness, I get shown that there are lots of different pockets of different things going on that we're not seeing in the physical world yet. So that tells me that there is a lot going on behind the scenes that we're not being shown uh, that will come out eventually when the timing's right. So uh, this, this can be about many, many different things. I, I can just see there's pockets of different things going on and I know it's all there's a lot going on behind the scenes that's not being presented out in the physical world yet so this is all happening for a reason and it's all meant to happen exactly the way it's happening because there's so much more going on so I'm now going to read the cards first of all we got so this isn't right from right back uh, at the beginning of the lockdown or anything like this. This is kind of from now, or if you like, the beginning of the week. That's, that's what I feel. This is my feeling. It's from a few days ago. So um, what I'm getting is, first of all, many, many people very concerned about money. It's causing great stress. Um, there are many that are okay, that are still ticking over fine, but there are many, many that are, are uh, having major money worries. Now, as much as it's hard because you're stuck in the emotion of what's going on, I want you to think of money as an energy. So money comes in, money goes out. Money comes in, money goes out. And it is like an energy, a cycle that goes round and round. You give out, you get back. You give out, you get back. So what I'm also feeling with this is it's a time now to get creative. Get creative in your business. And this is to do with eventually getting back on your feet and getting more money, you know, back into earning and everything. But right now... It's a good time to get creative. So first of all, to be able to do that, really, it would be much easier for you if you can stop worrying. I know that's really easy for me to say, and it's hard to do, but that's why I'm saying look at money as an energy rather than as a, a need and a, a want and, a, and that sort of energy attached to it. Look at it as a flow of energy. It comes in, it goes out. It comes in, it goes out. And the more that you can look upon money as that, 
you will start to free up your entire energetic body from the fear of lack of money and start focusing on all the things that you have around you to do with money that you have and be grateful for that because you're going to change that energy then around that lack and need and those sort of energetics to the more that you can go just pick out things that are around you that where you've had money and you've been able to buy lots of things or whatever it is and go oh my god I'm so grateful that I'm so grateful for this house I'm so grateful for the car that I've got parked in the drive in the garage I'm so grateful and really feel it because you're going to change that vibration of fear and lack to gratitude and opening it up for more to come. Literally, money is an energy. It's, it's like everything. It is energy. So if you look upon it in that way, change that mindset but also change the way you feel about it and you will change your whole energetic structure to more open and inviting to new opportunities, new uh, things coming to you. Now they might not come straight away, but you're opening that up to the universal flow for things to start moving again. You stay in fear and lack and you've closed your energy in and you're not going to allow anything in. That's just how it is. That's how it works. So by feeling grateful and picking out things, like I said, um, and whatever it is you want to pick out, even having a beautiful, lovely quilt to lie under at night, whatever it is, the little things and start being grateful for what you have because you're going to open yourself up energetically for a lot more to come. Now, Lead has come out with this card. And I know all of you have this. You have wisdom, knowledge and strength. Share your thoughts and insights and feelings through words of purpose to inspire through leadership. Now, you can do this with yourself. Tap into the wisdom you've got within. Tap into the knowledge. Read books. Look for things. Get that creative mindset going about how to move forward when we're all up and running again. Focus on that rather than the stress and the worry. It'll really help. And it's, and it's time to lead. So lead yourself. So the next card out. Now this is a general reading, so it this a lot of this stuff will resonate with um, you as an individual. A lot will, as an overall reading, will will resonate as well. So you've got to pick out what feels right for you. So you're also now at a time where. There'll be things that are getting on your nerves at home. There'll be people that are getting on your nerves at home. It's a good time and doing it in the right way. So doing it in a way where you're not reacting, you are just speaking your truth. So it's time to start talking about your hopes in life, what you want to do, perhaps what somebody else that you're living with does that might get on your nerves and you just say, look, would you mind not doing that anymore? Or uh, whatever it is, even talking to yourself, any habits that you've got that you want to change. It's about being totally truthful within yourself and with others. But like I said, from the heart. Now, colour has come out with this. Now, uh, if you're like me, I love colour. As you can see, I've got things in my room which are all about colour. I've got crystals coming out of the yin-yang, which is all about colour and vibration. Now, colour holds a vibration. Different, different colours hold vibration. Now, a lot of people think 
I'm just going to pick this because I know a bit about this. A lot of people think that black is a negative colour. Well, actually, from an artist's point of view, if you make black, how you make black is you add every single other colour to it and it ends up being becoming black. So actually, black holds the spectrum of all colours. So I want to say to you, colour has a vibration and a frequency that will help you uplift, help you heal and help you in many, many ways, even just feeling good. So when you get dressed in the morning, look in your wardrobe and think, I'm actually going to put something on of colour today and have a look through your wardrobe and pick something that you're really drawn to because it will have healing properties and it will also hold a vibration which will uplift you. Plus, if you're feeling into it, what you feel would be good for you and what you're drawn to, you're tapping into your own intuition and your own self. So being honest, being truthful, speaking from the heart and also getting that good vibe of colour, which is also going to help you. Now, the next card out is emotionally it's a bit like a yo-yo. You're trapped indoors, you, you're itching to get out one minute, you really want to get out and do things. The next minute you actually feel quite nice that you, you don't have to go to work and you don't have to go out and do things and you've got more time to yourself. So it's a bit of a roller coaster. And at times you have felt like, ah, this is driving me nuts. I just want to get out. I want to get back to my normal life and all that and you, and sometimes you get to the point where you just want to walk away from it all and just get back to normal and again like i said other times it's you feel okay with it and actually it's quite nice to just hang out at home and do something that you haven't had time to do before and things like that so this is just showing that your emotions are up and down like this and that's perfectly normal we are social beings. We like to go out and socialise and do things. Sometimes, though, that can be a distraction from going in and being truly honest with ourselves and about what we like and what we don't like and what we want to do with our lives and what we don't want to do with our lives and all those things. So spend the time doing things that bring you joy so you can try then and keep on an even keel with your emotions because that's all it is is the emotions just going up and down you're probably listening to the news and other things that are going on on the internet and and other stuff and it's uh, for some it will be creating uh, quite a lot of turmoil inside now some of us can watch all this stuff and not get um attached to it we can watch it uh objectively like we're a fly on the wall if you like so there's no emotion attached to it but for some you will get dragged in emotionally to some of the things that you're watching or seeing and this is online and perhaps the news and other things so if you do get emotionally involved in these things just try to look at things as if you were a fly on the wall, as if there is no emotion involved. It pretend you're Spock off Star Trek. No emotion, you're just watching. You're not judging, no judgment. You're just watching and going with the flow and seeing what unfolds. You can go with what feels right to you. Again, that's using your own inner compass, if you like, your intuition. So, what has come out with this is dreams. You are and will be doing lots of things in your dreams. One will be, you'll be getting, definitely you'll be getting messages through your dreams. One will be perhaps, uh, you might have a, like an anxiety dream, but actually all that means is that your subconscious and and uh, things are being released through your dreams that you don't need to hold on to anymore. So it's almost like um, you're releasing anxiety and stuff through your dreams. It's a form of healing. 
you will also be receiving messages about the future through your dreams. You will also be receiving insights about your own life, about things. So take notice of your dreams because there's messages there for you. So the next card out is again, this is a bit like you're stressing about things. Oh my God, what are we going to do? So again, it's a bit like that roller coaster. If you can keep that upliftment, um, think about all the things you can be grateful for in your life right now and try not to get attached to what might happen in the future. Try and be mindful and stay in the now because this will really help you. So this card represents worrying, stress, uh, becoming ill over it, anxiety and all those things. And the card that's come out with it, and I would recommend for you all to do this because you're in a time right now where you have no control and that's okay. It's time to release the control. Just go with the flow, allow things to unfold. I can tell you now for sure that in 10 years time, you'll look back at this situation and you'll go, wow, that was a time, a hard time for us. It also created a lot of changes in our lives that needed to happen actually. Um, and you will look back at this time when you'll go, wow, look, look what unfolded then. Look how stressed I got when actually I didn't really need to. So just, if you're going to look ahead, don't look ahead at this year. Look ahead at 10 years time about how you're going to feel about this period of time. Because you're going to look back, everything in your life is going to work out and you're going to look back and think, wow, look at that time when we were all in lockdown. Look at the changes that happened all across the world and all those changes that needed to happen. And actually everything did work out okay in the end, even though there were huge changes coming in and it might have been stressful at the time, it all is in perfect divine timing. It is. But with this card, you're being guided to give all of your cares and worries to the universe. So it's literally like, Oh my God, I've got all this going on in my life. I might even, you know, get to the point where I'm going to lose the car or I'm going to lose the house and blah, 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 and all this stress and worry, worry, worry. Literally stop and go, okay, there's nothing I can do about it. I'm going to hand it all over to the universe and I'm just going to go each day at a time, I'm going to focus on doing the things that I want to do while I can. I've got time now to do them, even though it's not going out stuff. But things at home, get creative, start reading those books that you have my chance to read. Watch the TV if that's what you're into. Get creative though. Get out in the garden, make things, start knitting if that's what you fancy doing. You might be able to order things online if you haven't got things at home. Um, really start doing stuff that, that's going to take your mind off of actually what's going on. This is another thing that's come out. Something you've always wanted to learn. What have you always wanted to learn? Ask, your, ask yourself that question. What have I always wanted to do and I've never had time to do it? This is your chance. You can learn things online. We're still all connected to the internet. So I'm picking up that a lot of you will think, oh, hang on a minute. I've always wanted to learn about um, essential oils or plant remedies or massage or um, how to do something around the house, how to fit a new kitchen in your kitchen, how to hang things on the wall, how to do DIY, how to paint the walls, um, whatever it is. Because this is your ideal opportunity to learn those new skills. How to play an instrument. You can teach yourself how to play an instrument. 
on YouTube, there is how to do anything. You only need to Google it and have a look. A new language, something academic that you fancy doing to test yourself and you've never had a chance to do it. Um, whatever it is, it's time now to start learning things because I can tell you that everything that you decide to learn now while you've got the chance is going to help you in the future. It is. So forgiveness has come out with this. Find forgiveness in your heart, release the pain and find peace as you clear the burdens that have restricted you. So again, it's like clearing all that stuff that's going on. It is going on. There's nothing you can do about it. So just clear that from yourself. It's restricting. It's holding you back. And it's time now to move forward doing the things that you would like to do. We have the Wheel of Fortune. So this means we're coming to the end of a cycle in life, which has to take place for us all. And it means the ending of the old, but the beginning of the new. So we're right in that period now of that changeover. Now that could last one week, two weeks, a month. It all depends. It might last longer for some and not for others. But we are all, all of us, in a period of coming to the end of one cycle in our lives and a new cycle is unfolding. So while we go through this, then the, the new cycle is, can mean connection all around the world. It can mean um, perhaps more money coming, new opportunities coming. This is what it means. The ending of the old, the beginning of new coming in. A line has come up with it. Master yourself. This is important. The more and quicker you master yourself and not get wrapped up in the drama of everything that's going on. Focus within. Go within. Master yourself. To allow alignment to occur. Stay strong and focus as you walk your path. You're being asked to get into full self-alignment, self-empowerment, going within, releasing what you've got no control over. There's no point in worrying about any of that stuff because the more you align, the easier it will be for you as the new comes in and we're releasing the old. This is on all levels. This is on a personal level. This is on a healing personal level. This is on that actually there's changes coming for you. This is on a wider level. There is changes coming for us all, for the whole planet. Everything is in a flux of change right now, even though you might not be seeing it. That's where we're heading. So again... Another card that's come out, coming up next is you've come down a long, twisty, windy road. You've done so many things in your life. You've stepped off the path. You've jumped back on and you're now testing the waters. You're not sure how to move forward. And that is perfectly fine. I can assure you that you have many, many skills within yourself to help you move forward. You also have the backing of your team, which is your angels, your guides, your higher self, your subconscious mind. There is so much support for you, which you probably can't see, but it's going to come through you and around you. This card also represents your emotions. Now, this roller coaster of a ride is still going like this. So the more even you can, go back to the last card, align and just go with the flow. Try and not get too wrapped up emotionally in what's going on as much as some of it might be life changing but try not to get too wrapped up in it the 
quicker you can keep your emotions on a nice even keel and again that upliftment that even like an excitement of what's coming of how things are going to unfold the quicker and easier it will be for yourself because you're going to create that like i said at the beginning that openness to allow lots more new opportunities to come in serenity has come in for it avoid the drama that is near you and seek a path of peace calmness and serenity take a walk breathe deeply and be still so you're really being guided to stay out of that drama just go with the flow meditate take a walk do some breathing exercises the breath is really really brilliant for helping you to stay in a calm space that's another thing that you could look up on on youtube breathing exercises for anti-anxiety anti-stress things like that now we've got the death card come up next it doesn't mean death i know a lot of people think it does but it doesn't again it's a bit like the wheel of fortune it means new beginnings the ending of the old and the beginning of the new new growth coming new opportunities coming faith has come out with it let your faith be bigger than your fear. So release those fears. What's the point in worrying about things before they've even actually happened? So release the fear and have faith. Have trust that everything is as it is meant to be right now. Have faith. Honestly, it really works. Just let go of that need to control things and have faith that everything is going to work out. So what's come out next is feeling stuck, feeling bound and gagged and you can't move forward and, and you're in that, oh my God, what am I going to do? I just don't feel right. Again, uh, this is a, such a good opportunity to go within to allow yourself to connect fully to your own soul, to your own inner being and find out who you truly are on a deep level. This is why you're feeling stuck and frustrated. Because we're looking out here about what's going on all out here and it's all like oh, doom and gloom and, and everything else. But actually... You need to go within and connect to your own soul. Connect to your own heart. Feel the love for yourself, the love and deep connection that you have on a soul level. This is what this card that's come out with this means. Memories of the past are rising and stirring your heart. Let love guide you as you remember, allow the union of souls to connect once more. It's like you've lost that connection with your own true inner self, with your own true soul. And everything about life has been about out here. Whereas now many are being forced to go within. It's a really great time to do some soul searching, go within, find out what sort of changes you'd like to make in your life when things start to go back to normal? Just really go within and find out what you would like to do. You might find that you don't want to go back to your old life and that actually you want to do something completely different. There's nothing wrong with that. It's about going within and connecting right now while you've got the chance on a soul level and find out who you truly are. What's coming up next? Juggling, you're juggling money around, you're juggling two situations, you're juggling two creative ideas. Harmony has come out with it. Embrace relationship and career opportunities. The choices you must make will create harmony in your heart and your future. So this is about choices. There's going to be choices coming up. And it's up to you to follow your own intuition to see what is right for you. Go with what feels right, not what you think you should do. What feels right, because that will be the right path. 
So what's come up next is the justice card. This means about getting a balance in life. This means about speaking your truth and speaking up to what you would like to do and how you would like to move forward. It's all about balance and speaking. It's time. It's time now to speak your truth. So freedom's come up with it. It is your time to shine. Freedom belongs to those who feel, see and breathe it. You have made it through the darkness to rise to the light within. We've gone through the hard yards now and now it's time to go within, find out what we actually truly want to do with our lives. There's many, many people going to make some big changes. And what the last card out is celebrations, rejoicing, happiness, movement forward, usher in the new you, the new energy that brings about new beginnings, remain positive to move forward fearlessly, remain positive to move forward fearlessly, everything is going to work out, have faith, all of these cards were about things that you think might be going to happen, but actually what really is happening. The faith, keeping calm, serenity, forgiving, handing your worries over to the universe, messages in your dreams, wearing bright colours to uplift you, connecting back into your own soul, harmony, freedom and positive movement forward. It's all good, even though it might not feel it right now, release that emotion, release that need to control, give all your cares and worries over to the universe, go with the flow of life, keeping in that calm, open, positive space. Remember that energy, the more that you're in that, going with the flow, keeping calm, not getting upset, not trying to control things. You're opening up your energy field, feeling grateful for all the wonderful things you have in your life, your beautiful family, your beautiful pets, your home, your beautiful warm bed, even going down to the small things like a table to eat off, you've got carpet on the floor, whatever. Be grateful. For everything because this opens your energy field up there's some good things coming we've just got to go through those stages of going within focusing on yourself and then you'll see that seeing the changes that start to unfold remember what i said right at the beginning there's a lot more going on behind the scenes that we're not seeing actually in the physical world yet so I am going to leave this with you. Remember, gratitude, positivity, joyfulness, spend the time doing things that you want to do. Give all your cares and worries to the universe. There's nothing you can do about it right now. Just give it over and focus on the here, the now, being mindful about right now and what's happening now and what you can do to make your life better for you right now creativity, doing the things you haven't had time to do, joyful stuff, playing, those, those type of emotions and vibrations will keep your vibration high. So I'm going to say much love from me. Please share this for this, this is for everybody. It's not, I'm not doing this for myself. I already feel like uh, I'm not con uh, controlling anything. I'm going with the flow. I'm one of these people that will, whatever happens, we deal with it at the time. So I'm not going to worry ahead of time that this could happen and that could happen and blah, blah, blah. I don't do that. I'm going with the flow and we take action steps when action steps present themselves. And that's how to move forward without any stress. So lots of love from me. Please share this video for, so everyone can have a insights 
on how to move forward in a positive way. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe. Click the little bell because that will also tell you when I've put up a new video. And much, much love. Lots of love. Bye for now. Bye.